गणाधिपो भानुशीधरा सुटबुढ़ो गुरुभागव सूर्यनंदनो राहुश्चकेतुश्च परन्नवग्रह कुरवंतु पूर्ण मनोरथ सदा उपेन्द्र इंद्रो वरुणोताशन धर्मो यमो वायु हरिश्चतुर्भुज गंधर्वयक्षोरग सिद्धचारणा कुरुवंत वो पूर्ण मनोरथ सदा
Yagya, hosted by one of our dear, beloved, loyal devotee, Sushila Badri. So once again, on behalf of Sushila and her extended family, I say a special thanks to all of you for joining in with us. And at this time, without further ado, I will now pass you over to our dear Vyasji, Pandit Balaramji. Bole Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki Jai. Rajesh, we commence with invocation prayer. We are focusing upon Divine Mother. So any of the many forms with which you are closely acquainted, visualize that form. And Om Tat Sat, Om Namash Chandikai. And as I say that form, I also include the form of your own mother. For that is also Divine Mother. So we join in prayer. Invocation prayer. It will be Vindheshwari Stotra. Om Ganganapate Nama. Om Sri Guru Charan Kamal Bhyo Nama. Om Ai Ai Maha Saraswatye Nama. Om Namas Chandikai. Om Uma Maheshwarai Nama. Om Namo Narayanai Nama Om Namo Bhagvate Vasudevai Nama Om Sri Sita Ramachandrai Nama Om Radha Vare Krishna Govindai Nama Om Ham Hanumantai Nama Nishumbha Shumbha Garjane Prachande Khande Khandini Banerane Prakashini Bhajami Vindhavasini Trishula Mundadharini Dharabi Ghate Harini Grihe Grihe Nivasini Bhajami Vindhavasini Daridra Duka Harini Sutabi Bhoti Karini Vyoga Shoka Harini Bhajami Vindhavasini Lasat sulo lato chanam lata sanam baram pradam kapal shule dharini bhajami vindhyavasini bhajami vindhyavasini bhajami vindhyavasini karo mudag dadhara shiva shiv pradayini vara varanana shubha bhajami vindhyavasini Vrishindra Jamini Pradam Tridhasya Rupa Dharini Jale Thale Nivasini Bhajami Vindhyavasini Vishishta Shishta Karini Vishal Rupa Dharini Mahodare Vilasini Bhajami Vindhyavasini Purandarari Sevita Surari Vansha Khandita Vishuddha Buddhi Karini Bhajami Vindhyavasini Bhajami Vindhyavasini Bhajami Vindhyavasini Bole Shri Ar Shakti Jagdambika Mata Ki As we mentioned previously devotees tonight we are going to deal with Divine Mother Shakti As we all know many of her forms but let's go to the word Shakti first of all. It represents power, energy. It comes from the root verb Shak, meaning to be able to do or to act. And the moment we make this comment, we realize Divine Mother is about doing. And in this world, we need more doers than talkers. People who are action-oriented. And so devotees, Energy pervades everything. Everything. Nothing can happen without energy. Devotees, life 
a shakti in all forms there are three main forms of shakti ichha shakti gyan shakti and kriya shakti the ichha shakti means the power of one's will or will power and that is durga devi gyan shakti the energy of knowledge that is lakshmi and kriya shakti the energy of activity and that is saraswati now these call for tremendous knowledge for tremendous you know thought introspection but you are intelligent people i just lay it out and keep chewing upon it devotees we may have the will but we don't have the knowledge then nothing happens we may have the knowledge but we don't perform the action nothing happens so the three must be together durga lakshmi saraswati or will power the power of knowledge and the power of action activity all these are necessary if anything is to be accomplished and then look at the flag that we all put up in our yard in our chandi wherever it might be or even we plant it in the yard of the heart there are three sides the three sides represent gyan shakti kriya shakti icha shakti reminding us how important that jhanda that flag that we plant in our yard and so we are being told by divine mother to increase our knowledge to show a sense of will power and perform constructive action devotees this in brief it was shaktis and so from now on we're going to give some examples in the form of divine mother as to what these how we can understand these three forms but first of all i want us to focus upon ma saraswati and om tat sat jai sharda devi jai vageshwari jai vani maharani devotees we need ma more than ever jai bani jai bani maharani mata maharani mata vedya bodhi badhavan hare ha vedya bodhi बरहावन हारे जय बानी मैया जय बानी माता जय बानी महरानी माता महरानी माता वेद्या बोधी बरहावन हारे हो वेद्या बोधी बर Yeah. 
विद्यार्थी विद्याहित ध्यावत विद्याहित ध्यावत विद्यार्थी हित विद्या ध्यावत विद्या ध्यावत भावत भक्ति मैया भावत मुक्ति मैया भावत मुक्ति भक्त Saraswati Mata Ki Now devotees Of the many forms I shall take maybe two or three Based upon time And one very important form That we don't pay too much attention to But we all say it We use that form And we cannot function Without that form of Ma And that is You cannot have any rite or ritual If Swaha is not uttered for fulfillment, for upliftment, for satisfaction. And so devotees, let us hear a few points on this. There are ten forms of Swaha of fire. I'm telling you of the importance of fire. And devotees, these ten forms there is a ritual fire, Brahma Agni, which we have in Yagyas and Puja. There is Prajapati Agni, fire given to the unmarried student for Janev ceremony, with a pledge to preserve and worship and make offerings to Agendevuta. There is the Gahapati Agni, fire brought near to home after the marriage and to be worshipped regularly by the husband and wife. There is Dakshin Agni, the fire offering to our Pitra, our ancestor, when we say Swadha. There is Kravayad Agni, the funeral fire, where we can put the body and have it burnt in the flames. And devotees, I want to say this, is not in the scripture, but it's in everybody's life, everybody's home perhaps. 
And there's what we call the fire in the house, the quarreling fire. Plenty fire in the house. Quarreling for so. Janjat, Larai. But we'll not talk about that. We know enough about that. We won't go there. So devotees, why is this fire so important? Before I go into that, let us recite Agni Gayatri. Visualize a lighting fire in front of you. And you're doing the Jap, chanting the Gayatri for Agni Devta. Om Vaishwanarai Vidmahi Lalilai Dhimahi Tanu Agni Prachodayat May we, may we, creative and treat Vishwanar, Vaishwanar, the fire god. May we meditate upon him, the mystic fire, and may that fire illumine our lives, burning all negativities. Bole Sri again Bhagwan Ki. Now, devotees, what are the benefits? Well, I just mentioned it can, it can burn all the negative feelings in the home or in your body or in your life. I will go now and I'll give some examples based upon research. In Peru, all this is documented. There was a deadly fungus which attacked the banana plantation and we all know how important banana or fig is. We all know that. Very important. We won't even go into the benefits of it. But there's a saying, banana is the fruit of the wise. Not that if you eat banana, you get wise, you know. But you're wise to eat it because of the health benefits. Banana. So they tried all types of pesticides and so on. And they all failed and failed miserably. So devotees, a yogi suggested to them, we need to first of all understand this banana is planted in Mother Earth, Harti Mata. And sometimes we tend to forget how important this earth is until it hits back each one of us in a very forceful way. In tidal waves, tsunami, earthquake, you name it. So devotees, remember we all were born on this earth. We rise on this earth, we fall on this earth, depends on the action we perform, the company we keep, and the thoughts we have. So, the Sadhya, upon his instruction, Lipe the spot, as we say, you purify the spot with cow dung. And devotees, four hours a day, Mrityunjai month was recited. And again, remember how important Mrityunjai month is. When one has certain ailments and sicknesses and diseases, then you recite Mitrun Jai Mantra and see the power of Bhagwan Shankara, Mitrun Jai. Four hours a day, Mitrun Jai Mantra was recited. Especially more so on full moon day and new moon day. Those days were used 24 hours non stop chanting Mitrun Jai Mantra. Now, mantra or words have vibration, connotation, denotation. And a word can make us happy, a word can make us sad. It depends on what the word. Somebody says, I love you, well, that's a very good thing. Somebody I hate the best bone in you, well, you know what happened there. So, we all know how powerful mantras are. So, this was recited. And devotees, to the power of Mitrunjai. To the power of prayer and through the power of Havan, that smoke began to permeate and pervade the entire field and devoted the blight, gone, was left, was destroyed. So this is why they say do Havan in your home. Husband and wife, problem, trouble, do it together. Now you do it in my room and you do it in the next person's room. We have to sit and do it together. Always remember that. And there are many stories, and we're not going to all of that, with Savitri, etc. Devotees, what happened according to the research? When this is done because of the ingredients poured into the fire, all the harmful chemical things are in the environment, 
were burnt. The bacterial count, this is what the research is showing, was reduced, and here the amount, from 860 to 70. And we all know how important the air is, the environment. We just had a huge conference on what can we do to preserve the earth and to reduce carbon emissions, etc., etc. So devotee, when you hear your religion, it's not just something in a temple or to sit for a few people to discuss. It contains life and living in a very direct and relevant way. Devotees, there's another bit of research. I'm coming back to the, you know, the spiritual side, if you don't, if you don't mind. In Germany, Hospital with terminally ill patients, especially heart patients, showed remarkable improvement when Hawan was performed. Think of that. Another scientist from Russia recorded the miraculous powers of cow's milk. Nobody here hear a lot of talk, don't drink tomorrow milk, drink buffalo milk, drink elephant milk, drink camel milk, drink this kind of milk. I can't condemn any milk. It, too much of anything good for nothing. We have to be, be careful of what we fed. So devotees, what happened here? The miraculous powers of cow's milk to protect from nuclear radiation. Nuclear radiation, cow's milk. We won't go into all the details. There's a lot more. A place which is leapy with cow dung remains totally protected from radioactive active effects. And some scorn, flea pain. You decide, devotees. Our religion is giving us the facts and science is not bearing it out. So leave any place, if it's available. If not, well, there are other types of detergents. But I didn't speak about that. I spoke, spoke about cow dung. Then another individual, this time from France, he found that the smoke that emanates by burning sugar in the Hawan has a healing effect. It kills the germs of deadly diseases like TB, Typhoid and diarrhea. Don't we put sugar in our hawan kun? In our, in our samagni? This is what he has found out, devotees. And I'm sure many have found out other things too. In New Jersey, there's a society spreading the use of hawan to contain and combat pollution. So when they say lighting fire created more pollution, that's not so. This is good smoke. Valmiki Ramayana has it. Oh Lord, he who lights the fire and inhales that smoke, he is purifying him inside, residing him, bless him. In not born in a tire? In not born in ganja? I could say more. Leave it there. Devotees, when the British rule India, is a few, I just give you a few more. Devotees, the advice was given to use grit, saffron, and rice as oblation and yagyas for protection from. In 1994, in Surat, Gujarat, a yag was used to purify the atmosphere and kill the germs. An American scientist, there's a lot of information, just give you briefly came up that chanting Gayatri month with proper pronunciation generates, and hear this, with proper pronunciation generates 110,000 waves, waves which calm negative emotions and feelings. So when you find you can't control your anger, your whatever, go and sit and do some Gayatri job. And other things too. So they have given us Many, many techniques, many solutions for anger, for hate, for pollution, for the environment. You name it, devotee. This is Sanatan Dharma. And all of this has to do with what? Swaha. Again, Devuta. Very interesting. And then the Rig Veda. 
which is the foundation of Sanatan Dharam. It says air in its pure form is the best medicine for peace of mind, good health, and long life. Pure air. In the purest form, best medicine for that. And that's why in Hinduism we have what is called Kumbhak Rechak Purak Pranayam. Inhale through the right side, then inhale through the left, then hold both and inhale through the mouth. As you do this, you know what you're doing? I won't tell you, do it and see. Inhalation, retention, and exhalation. And this also is Nar. Pingala and Saraswati, the tree, when we do that, we are purifying ourselves and build ourselves spiritually. So if I don't want to sit down and do jab, I just do inhalation. There are many ways in Hinduism, it's not dogmatic, or religion not dogmatic, but pragmatic. There's a way for everybody. And so devotees, this all ties in with what we call Swaha. So having said that, let us know. There's a book here that I've brought. It is available from Swaha on the website and whatever else. And devotees, it is a Swaha Chalisa. Never compiled by any saint or sage in India. Although Swaha is so important, Swaha is a Devi. Yet Pandit Gyandev, who went to India two or three times, my brother, he saw it fit under Peter G's guidance to come pose this Swaha Chalisa. I will sing a verse or two. An incident is Swaha the organization that I belong to and that most of you know. So here we go. The first Swaha Chalisa says Jai 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 Swaha Mai Jai Jai Mata Chandravati and Chandravati was the name of my mother. My mother. Yeha Chalisa Hari Prasad Hai, Father's name. And today would have been his birthday if he were alive. Today would have been his birthday if he were alive. Yeha Guru Ram Chandra Ji Ka Gyan Hai. This knowledge is from our Guru Ram Chandra Baba. The Guru of all of us, including Pandit Krishna, Harvard and all those individuals from the late. So devotee, this is not joke. It contains the blessings of great individuals. And so, we shall sing let's one or two verses of Swaha Chalisa. Boli Sri Swaha Mata Ki Jai Jai Swaha Mata 
Gauri Sri Swaha Mata Ki So devotees, as we said, we are sharing just a few bits and pieces of these great forms of Ma. So remember, do your Havan and undoubtedly through the power of this Havan and this fire, permeating your very life and through your home and through the world, if we all begin to do this, we will see a big difference in the world. Purity, success and fulfillment. Devotees, let us glorify Ma again. This time, a simple Kirtanam so you can join. Vishwadhari Liyambe Ma Vishwadhari Li Durge Ma Vishwadhari Liyambe Ma Vishwadhari Li Durge Ma Jai Jai Ma Jai Jai Ma Jai Jagadishwari Gauri Ma Glorify Ma in Shakti. Om Shakti 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 Shakti Icha Shakti O Gyan Shakti Kriya Shakti Icha Shakti O Om Shakti O Shakti O Shakti O Om Shakti O Shakti O Shakti O Ma Om Shakti O Shakti O Shakti O Om Shakti O Shakti O Shakti O Om Shakti O Shakti O Shakti O Shakti Kali Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Shana Shakti Kali Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Radha Shakti Sita Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Radha Shakti Sita Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Ma Om Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Om Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Om Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Shakti Yom Rama Shakti Krishna Shakti 
base is provided by Shakti. So we say, Mata Shakti, Pita Shakti, Yo Shakti, Yo. Mata Shakti, Pita Shakti, Mata Shakti. Om Shakti, Om. Shakti Atal Chhatra Ki Devotees to drive home the point even more forcefully about the greatness of Havan and I will give you this incident. Devotees, it is taken from the scripture of the Puran, Savitri Devi. Her father was a king. He wanted to get her married in the joy and happiness of every parent to marry their daughter if it's possible. People make choices, and let me quickly say in Hinduism, there are those who choose not to do so, and devotees, that is quite in order from our religious texts and teachings. So, no matter who was brought before her, she said, I don't like this person. I don't. I know some people can be very picky, very fussy. Devotees, not only girls, but boys too. So, so the father, the father became, a became a bit annoyed, annoyed and so he gave up, gave up what is to be will be. And one day, after some years, he was going into the forest and she said, Oh Father, take me with you. I'm fed up of the palace, I've let her go in the forest. And there's a saying in Hindi, Jangal me mangal. The kind of joy you get in Mother Nature, you can't get it in the home. And that's a fact, devotees. To see the, the waves in the ocean, they hear the babbling of the water, the chirping of the birds, the, the, you know, all these things, it brings a tremendous sense of joy because that's what our true nature is. And so, he took her along with as his daughter, he wants to make his daughter happy. So they reached a certain part in the forest and it was very dark and dangerous. So he told the soldiers, you stay here and guard my daughter. And I will go, and when I'm back, we shall continue. So she stayed there, and devotee, the soldiers guarded her. On that same day, there was a young man, very devoted to his parents, and God bless such young people. They will always be truly successful, truly successful, not partially successful. And the world is crying out for more and more of such sons. So he was one such. And he went to fetch firewood for his blind parents. You can find out now? Anyway, let me move on. Eh? I might get carried away. So devotees, he had to pass right where this beautiful girl was sitting, surrounded by soldiers. The moment her eyes fell upon him, as we say, sparks out of light, devotees, she told the soldiers, go and call my father quickly. Go and call him quickly. I need to show him the person I'm going to get married to. I want to get married to. But the soldiers hurried. And they found the king and brought him back. And the devotees, where is he? They pointed out. They went and found this young man and brought him and said, My daughter would like to get married to you. What say you? Now, he was one of those who don't tell your elders anything negative or wrong or bad. So if this is your desire, your daughter desire, then so be it. But I'm a poor person. My parents are blind. Your daughter will become a princess living in all comfort and luxury. Can she afford to live in this condition? Devotee, she was told, she said, Daddy, wherever my husband is, there is heaven for me. Same thing Sita said. When she was told, you want to go in the forest? There are demons. It's dangerous. She said, wherever Sri Ram is, Sita will be there. God bless such wives. 
Let he go now, me taking him, me gonna suffer. I didn't be married, me suffer me. I'm not taking that. And you know the story. I don't want to go and say all of these things. I could go on with that, but I stop it here, devotees. So, they were told about the situation and they agreed. And the devotees, they went to the Guruji. And this is one thing never ever leave your Guru out of your life. If you do that someday, something will come to bounce you and hit you real hard and wake you up. And you're not threatening anybody. Why should I threaten anybody? I'm not here to do that. So the devotees, they consulted Guruji. Guruji said, My Maharaj, your king, good match, but there's a problem. This boy is going to die at the age of 12. She'll be happy for a short while, but after that she'll be a widow. And the devotee is, who wants to get married and become a widow? By the way, in Trinidad, there are 40,000 widows. Think it easy. That we know of. That's recorded. 40,000. How much in Canada? I don't know. Right? But I don't want to touch anybody's nerves yet. Maybe another time, another year. So 40,000, imagine that. So devotees, when the king heard that, he said, God, Guruji, what is the way out? He said, there's no way out. So the girl was told, she said, Pitaji, it's better I live for 12 years in happiness than 12 years in unhappiness or 40 years in unhappiness. That's her choice. What will you choose, devotees? You have to think. And so, when she agreed, marriage took place. Year one, year two, year three, twelve year reach. Devotees on this, the twelfth year, about to expire. This boy, as he would do every day, picked up his axe to go and fetch firewood. But before, in the night, this girl couldn't sleep. That tomorrow, it is said by Guruji, my husband is going to die. So tomorrow, we have spent so many happy moments. When, <coughs> on the next day, when I stretch my hand, the bed will be empty. That will hurt me. But this is how it is. I made that choice. So when he about to go for the wood, she held his hand and said, Oh husband, oh patideu. Well, I don't know how wife just called the husband now. A and O and whatever. On Saga boy or whatever. So she held his hand and said, No, I want to go with you today. So he said, I can't let you go with me. My blind parents are home. And that's another thing, devotees. Marriage is not just simply the union of two people, but two families, two villages even, two cultures. And many a time, too much of selfishness and egoism. We don't take on, I don't care about your mother, and you don't care about your father. And so we're going. Creation, more confusion and conflict. But again, each one choose as you see fit. But it won't work. Because what is right is right. And what is wrong is very wrong. Very wrong. Very wrong. Very wrong. So, he said, you are forgetting something very important. My parents will be home alone. They can't see. If something should happen to them, I'll regret it. Therefore, my dear, you have always stayed at home. I ask you to stay home today too and look after my parents as you have always done. But devotee, she insisted. So now there's a stalemate. So the parents heard that. And parents also have a very important part to play. We can't just study ourselves. We try to do what's best for our children too. And when the mother heard that, she said, Son, no, let her go with you. It's one day only. And we could take care of ourselves for this one day. And my son, make her happy. And that's what the husband is there for. And the wife too. They made them grieve and cry. Hold bucket up, base nut, yes. That shouldn't be. So what happened? He couldn't overrule the statement of his mother. And she said, come on, let's go, he said. So now he's holding the axe in one hand, and she's holding his other hand. Now you don't normally see that except with the first year or month of marriage. After that, oh God, I know what they're holding. Grudge, hate, anger, you name it. I'm not mocking anybody. I don't know anybody's life story. Please don't say he come here and he talking this and that. I'm telling you what the story says. So, they're going. While going, she began to notice her husband. He's sweating. 
And devotees, he began to walk out there. He was drifting. She realized something was wrong. And she said, Swami, please sit here a while. Regain yourself, your composure, and then we shall proceed. But before anything could happen, he collapsed in her hand. But that's not a nice sight to behold. To see your child sick in your hand, or your mother or your father sick in your hand, and you are there, and you are lost. What to do? What to do? Many parents have died in the hands of their children. Unbelievable. And so devotees, he fell to the ground. She held him, placed him down gently on her lap. And there, the soul left the body. He passed out. Now we all know, we won't go, it's a long story, it's a lot of aspects to it. When the soul leaves the body, where does it go and what happens and what is dead, that's another katha by itself. So at that point in time, it's a light that came through the mouth. And she was able to see this light leaving the body of the husband. And she put on the body of the husband, she began to follow the light. Because what is the real person? The real person and not, not the body, as our scriptures say, is the self, the Atma. That's why now when I see people making big fuss about funeral and dead and all kind of things, I say, Lord, heaven help them. Heaven help them. You'll be surprised on the things people see and do. Ask for it. Ask the Baba and them here. And if you try to tell them, mm -mm, no way. Like if you don't mind, I could stop and say a little thing fast, fast, a little dead talk. Devotees, we went to cremate a guy and he was on his wheelchair. So when they put the body on light the fire, fellas say, go and bring it, boy. So they went, well, I want to know what it is. It in Srinagar means ganja or rum or something so. So I want to know what did it eat. So they brought the wheelchair and the fellow went up about to put it on top of the fire. I say, why are you doing that for me? Why are you doing that? Why are you going to burn it for? He said, put it on my father one. Where are you going? You going to need it? I say, hey, wait here until all the foot and hand and everything burn and tell me where you carrying that. How are you carrying that? Who carrying that for him? You carrying it? I say, brother, no. You see, they don't know. You have to take your time, have patience, and enlighten them. Eh? I say, it would it not be better if you take this and give it to somebody who's living, who needs it? And so that person be blessed and happy and your soul of a father be even more blessed and the family be even more blessed. Therefore, give it to somebody. Now, devotees, if you don't have pandits who are brave and strong to say these things, then we continue to live like this. So they agreed and somebody got that. God bless them and God bless the family. So devotees, these are things that happen. So they are healed and she is following the soul. I want, I, this is my husband, I'm not giving up on him. I'm going to follow him. And devotees, we all know Jamraj is the God of death, as we say. Dharamraj, Dharma, righteousness. So after a while, Dharamraj said, go back. You left your body of your husband, it has to be disposed of. And that is true. It must be disposed of. But go back there and do the, after that, funeral rites and so on. She said, no, my, real, my husband, the real person, the true him, is following you, this light. Give it back to me and then I'll go back. Jamaraj didn't give it back. She continued, Dharmaraj continued, his soul continued. Three times. Then he said, listen, you really have to stop. I cannot allow you to continue. There are some things we have to do and there are some things you have to do. She said, well, give me back my husband. Devotees, eventually they cut the whole long story short. He said, I'll give you one wish. One wish. Now, the, her in-laws are blind. They are poor. Husband dead, and she has no children. Four problems. Four problems. And she's being told to ask for one wish. Devotees, when God with you, Things work out well. And when God not with you, and they just say, butter could cut you. Whatever that means. So devotees, why did she, what would she say? Four desires, one wish. So she said, oh Lord, I ask that my in-laws see their grandson sitting on a throne, eating kheer or seat rice, 
That's what I wish to see. So Yamaraj said, so shall it be. Now the four desires came into one and it came to pass. She is asking that her in-law see. So that means they will get their sight. She wants that, see what? That their grandson doing what? So to have a grandson, how you can have a child without a man? Only if you're Lord Ganesh and Shivaji and Parvati. We adopt or something else. I hope I'm not talking bad language. Eh? <laughs> I just make it relevant and plain. Plain talk? Okay. Yes. So for that to happen, the husband had to be re restored to life. So then she can have a son with him. And then what? His son doing what? Sitting on a throne. They're poor for their lives to be transformed. They have to regain their kingdom. Sitting on the throne, doing what? Eating street rice. So all her desires came to pass. Husband came back to life. A child was born. Um, they got back their kingdom and everything. The, the in-laws got back their sight. Now the question was asked by one of the jailer. How did this happen? How could she be so smart, so intelligent, so wise? Then the answer is simply the Swaha. And I challenge you all, anybody wants to see the soul, not only the physical, but the metaphysical. Anybody wants to see these things that the ordinary eye can't perceive, then for 365 days, this is what the challenge is. Do Havan. No one day, not three days, not for your birthday, not for your wedding anniversary. Do Havan for 365 days. And through the power of Agin Devuta, you will see the transformation that will come in your life. And what you never saw, never understood, and never did, you'll be able to do. This is the greatest of Sri Agin Devuta. So devotees, so devotees, there's a lot more, but I do not wish to go too much. We have so many forms of Ma, and I've spoken to you briefly on the greatness of Agen Devuta, as well as Swaha Mata, because Swaha is the consort of Agen Devuta. I pray as I conclude. May we all begin to light the fire. May we all start performing our Havan. May we all start to bring back life in a form of light and not live in darkness and pain and unhappiness. It's up to you and I to so do. I have simply said it. I, the message has been delivered. It's up to you and I to pick it up and run with it. Bole Sri Swaha Mata Ki Jai. So devotees, tomorrow we start at 10. So I invite her again to come to tune in, whatever it might be. And we have, we shall speak a bit another form of the Lord, which I will not tell you tonight. We'll have the tune in to know. And devotees, I will now leave you with this very powerful mantra from Argala Stotra. Om Shri Ar Shakti Atal Chatrai Namo Namam Achinta Rupa Charite Devi Sarva Shatru Vinashini Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi Yasho Dehi Jvisho Jahi Om Vanditang Hri Yuge Devi Sarva Saubhagya Daini Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi Yasho Dehi Jvisho Jahi this is a powerful, it's many mantras, but just one or two I've just recited. And this says, O Divine Mother, Rupam, beauty and form, reveal your indwelling presence at the beauty of self-knowledge. That is true beauty of the individual, beauty of self-knowledge. If I know who I am, what myself is, then that's true, true beauty. And devotees, when we say success, the form, success in spiritual endeavors, victory to you, the deluding power of Maya. With such victory comes glory, a state of spiritual bliss, and the destruction of the hostile forces in Mahishasu. So devotee, these mantras compiled by great sages, meant for you and I, to recite and to bring positive energies into our lives. 
Now, I think we should spend a moment or two glorifying Ma. There are so many Kirtan Devi, Kirtan devotees. Let us do one or two if you don't mind. And then we shall go on to the Havan. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupi Samastita Namastasye 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 Namo Namaha Durga Amba Bhavani Jai Jai Durga Amba Bhavani Durga Amba Bhavani Hey, Amba Bhavani, Jagadamba Bhavani, 
जगमग जोत बिराजे जगमग जगमग जोत बिराजे तेज सुरेश जानी हो माता जग जननी माँ अम्मा भवानी दुख हरने सुख संपत्ति भरने दुख हरने सुख संपत्ति भरने करने सकल कल्याणी हो माता जग जननी गम अपार तुम्हारो छत्र की जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी शक्ति अटल छत्र की जाए अम्बा जी की आरती सब कोई खड़ा हो जाए वे वो यही पॉसिबल प्लीज स्टैंड एंड यू आल्सो इवेंजुलिस्टिंग जय स्वाहा मार श्यामा गौरी मैया जय जय अम्बे दिन ध्यावत हरि ब्रह्मा शिवरी जय अम्बे गौरी मैया जय श्यामा गौरी मैया 
मांग सिंदूर विराज दे को मृग मद को ओ ज्वल से दो नया चंद्र बदन को जय समान कले बर रक्ता बर राजे रक्त पुष्प गल माला कंथन पर साजे जय अम्बी गौरी मैया जय श्यामा गौरी मैया के हरि वाहन राजत खर कख पर धारी सुर नर मुन जन से वत दिन के दुखहारी जय अम्बी गौरी मैया जय श्यामा गौरी मैया कानन कुंडल शोभित ना सागरे मोती कोटे कचंद देवाकर सम्राजत ज्योति जय दारे महिषा सुर खाती भूम्र विलोचन नैना निश दिन मद माती चंद्र मूल संहारे सोनित बीज हरे मधु कै तभ दो मारे सुर भै यही न करे
मुनि धारा बहिना बहिना गंगा डोरी धारा बहिना महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उ जगन्नाथ की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय स्वाहा माता की जय प्रेम से बोले श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की शुभ मस्तु कल्याण मस्तु आपको धन्यवाद सत्य आशीर्वाद आप लोग बह जाएंगे I must say special blessings to all those who found the time to tune in, who found the time to come, and devotees. All of this is because of a very special person. I call her the, the Belmont Tiger. She comes from a part of the country where if you're not strong, you can't live. She and her sisters, and also her brother, and now she has her nieces with her, and that is Sushila. You are showing what you're made of. And your father was one such man. I could tell you that because I had wonderful interaction with him. I remember we used to build tent together before we had Bhagwat and wedding by our house. He was there. Ah, there they are, the father and the mother, two powerful people. Socially showing the picture, and they, wherever they are, may their soul be blessed. And I'm sure they'll be very happy that at this present time to know what the kind of actions you are doing. 
on their behalf. So they will be very proud to have left their daughter behind like you. And you and the other sisters, we pay tribute to them at another time. But blessings to you, Sushila. Well done. And Menaka, is it? What? Manisha and Rishika. I gave them that name. How can I forget that? Uh, Rishika. <laughs> and blessing to your parents, to your mommy and daddy. Yes. So, blessings to you all. Well done. Sit around.